if you want to create a new SOLIDWORKS appearance based off of a photograph that you may have taken, it's actually pretty easy. What we're going to do is we're going to start by applying an appearance to our part. Now we need to make sure we choose one that has a texture like this brick appearance here. So now when we go in and we edit this appearance, we need to make sure that we're looking at the advanced tab. If we're on the basic tab, we won't have access to uh, the texture file that's in this appearance. We want to go down to that, uh, that image um, section. That's where it's looking for the texture file. And we're going to replace it with the photograph that we've taken. So I've got this photo that I've taken of some floor tile. And now I can go in, I can make some uh, adjustments, make a color overlay, uh, adjust the mapping of the, uh, of the image. Um, maybe adjust this illumination. And once I've got this the way that I want it, then I can save this appearance file and um, just make a new PTUM file. So I'll give this a name and I'm going to save it in this uh, new location in my documents called Custom Appearance Library. And when I hit save, SolidWorks is going to ask me, do I want to use that, that location for, uh, for new appearances? Is it going to be, do I want to use that uh, as a library location? So when I check my appearances now, I see this new custom folder in blue, and there's my new P2M file. 